Well, you're watching East Midlands today here on the BBC and a former soldier who served in the Iraq war says that a long-awaited inquiry needs to make sure that serious mistakes aren't repeated. John O'Lee is now a local councillor at Newark in Nottinghamshire and he's been speaking to us as former politicians brace themselves for criticism in next month's Chilcot report. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has this report. This was billed as shock and awe the night 13 years ago when Baghdad came under attack. The start of a war that ousted a hated dictator, but it also cost the lives of countless Iraqi civilians and hundreds of British troops. I'm 19 year old in the centre of Basra. Um, we were doing a patrol on the local. Jono served alongside them at the beginning of the war. It just wasn't good enough. Us on the ground didn't have a clue what we were doing. Basic equipment, we didn't have enough cold water. We didn't have enough ammunition. We didn't have enough kit. We had four magazines with 30 rounds in each magazine. If you come on a fire where you get pinned down and, you, and you're, that will be gone in a couple minutes. Back in the East Midlands, soldiers deployed to Iraq received a warm welcome home, but the political decision to send them there was hugely controversial. So will next month's Chilcot reports bring closure? What I hope is that people are held accountable. I would like to see the Prime Minister and Bush in court explaining their actions, or at least in, in front of um, a parliamentary inquiry explaining their actions. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit upset because we lost a guy out there. Um, we lost an officer out there. But let's hope it gives the families the information that they need. The military equipment improved dramatically by the time British troops withdrew, but now there are questions about whether the war was counterproductive because it left a power vacuum that created opportunities for the so-called Islamic State. We helped a lot of people out there, but when we're being told it's for chemical weapons and the locals believe we're going out there to steal their oil, and it made the country more unsafe. Was the Iraq war a mistake in your view? ISIS are all over the place. It's no, it's no a country that isn't safe. Jono's concerns about his Iraq war deployment persuaded him to go into politics and now he wants to become a Conservative MP so that he can use his personal experience to stop it happening again. Jeremy Ball, BBC Smithlands Today, Nottinghamshire.